Happy Wednesday, everybody. Good to see you. Watch what happens. That one's uh, for you. I can't remember who requested that. Someone got that in. Susan got that in right off the bat. Um, great to see you all. Susan, Maria, Dave, Tom, Johnny, Maria, uh, Sangmok, Sandra Lou, Mario, Ruth, Susan, Mark, Jason, Noni, hey, Ampel, nice to see you. David from Miami Beach. Um, all right, great to see you all. A bunch of requests coming fast and furious, as always. Oftentimes I try to keep a few in mind and I try to blend them, but that's, uh, that's a little bit tough. So today I'm just going to pick them out one at a time as I see them. So if I don't get to yours, my apologies, uh, but I'll try to get to as many as I can. Hey Patrick, nice to see you, man. Hope you guys are having a great week.
overjoyed with a little bit of some arrow garner thrown in there. Um, let me just check out the stream here, make sure everything's good. Uh, yeah, looks like it's all good to go. So how's everybody's week? It's Wednesday, one of my favorite days of the week. Frank, uh, sure, we can get some Duke Ellington in there. Let's see, I haven't done this one in a long time. the Saturday dance might have gone but what for they'd have asked me about you and don't get around much anymore thought I'd visit the club got as far as the door awfully different without you and don't get around much anymore stir up memories been invited on dates might have gone but what for awfully different without you don't get around much anymore Some don't get around much anymore. Um, I can't remember exactly who requested that. Frank, I think. 
Um, a very appropriate request for COVID times. None of us are getting around much these days. So, um, hey, Ruth, Jason, good to see you. Thanks, Giovanna. I think we can play that one. That's um, When Summer Comes by the great Oscar Peterson. Um, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. As usual, I do have um, tip jar links in the video description for those of you who feel like dropping a little love. Um, those links should show up in the comments from time to time, too, or you can always find it at my website, benpatterson.com. And thanks many, many, many times to all of you who do drop a little tip in the tip jar every week. It really uh, means a lot. Hey, Quentin, good to see you. So it's actually my, uh, speaking of requests, it's actually my Aunt Pell's birthday today. Um, so we're going to do a quick happy birthday to her. And without giving away her age, at least without saying it, uh, there's a special request I'm going to play for her. I don't know if I fully know this one, but we're going to try it. Um, so happy birthday, Pell. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
All right, there you go. That's when I'm 64. Happy birthday, Pell. Hope you guys are safe and healthy. So she's turning 35. Exactly, exactly. Good one, Quentin. There you go. <laughs> Hey, Dave. All right, good request. I've been checking out that one this week. And then Alvaro, Night in Tunisia sounds good for a follow-up. Let's see. It's kind of the same key and the same feel, but that's all right. I'm going to sit right down and write myself a letter And make believe it came from you I'm gonna write words oh so sweet They're gonna knock me off my feet A lot of kisses on the bottom I'll be glad I got them I'm gonna smile and say I hope you're feeling better And close with love the way I'm going to sit right down and write myself a letter and make believe it came from you. Let's go into three. I'm going to sit right down and write myself a letter And close with love the way you do I'm going to sit right down and write myself a letter And make believe it came Make believe it came Make believe it came from you. All right, sit right down and write myself a letter. I remember that song from um, when I was a kid. I used to watch Sesame Street, and there was a whole, I remember a thing on Sesame Street about all about the mailbox and about sending a letter and how to use the postal service and they showed some little you know five-year-old kid writing a letter and everything and that was the the soundtrack and they played the old original um fats waller recording i remember i have this vivid memory as a kid of watching that on sesame street and um hearing fats waller do that too thanks bob i'm glad you like singing along man thanks amar Glad you're enjoying the, the midnight party. Uh, let's see, I promised someone some night in Tunisia. Be good to pick up the pace a little too.
forgot what key I was in there for a second. Um, always had to remember. Yeah, Mana, take, or, uh, take Five is indeed a masterpiece. I don't usually play Take Five myself solo piano just because I feel like to really kind of get the vibe of it, we want to have a rhythm section um, just to emphasize that kind of 5-4 feeling of it. Um, right, it's in 5-4. That's why it's called Take Five. It goes one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. So it's a little tricky as a solo pianist. I don't really do it often, but since you asked, I'll try it. That's for you, a little um, solo piano version of Take 5. Again, not one I typically play. I'm not usually, I don't think of myself as being particularly good at 5-4 um, time signatures or playing in odd time in on time signatures, especially solo. Usually I need a drummer to keep me honest. <laughs> but one thing that's you know about cool about Take 5 and the reason a lot of people, it doesn't even feel like it's in a weird time signature because that opening line... It's so like, you know, just has such a strong kind of vibe to it and a strong groove to it that you don't even think of it as being in five. You just hear boom, bop, ba, bop, boom, boom, a, ba, a, boom, boom, a, boom, boom, right? Which makes it, it's like, oh, that's just a groove. It's, and that's the way odd time signatures should feel. A lot of times jazz guys play stuff in five or in seven or nine or whatever just to make it sound complicated. But there's no reason that an odd time signature like that can't feel like a groove.
If I had you, great tune, great tune. Um, a nice request. Hey, Scott, good to see you. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Once again, I, as usual, I do have tip jar links in the uh, video description. Um, and uh, they should pop up in the comments. Thanks to everybody who drops a little tip in the tip jar. It means a lot. It helps me keep the music coming. So thank you, everybody. Um, Robert asks, do I find sheet music arrangements useful? Uh, sometimes. I mean, sometimes I'll get a good transcription of somebody's version of something. And then I'll try to kind of take ideas out of it and apply them in other situations. Um, like, for example, I was working on a transcription recently of this beautiful intro to I'm Old Fashioned that, uh, that uh, Mulgrew Miller does. And he's got some beautiful voicings in there. Um, anyway, he's got this one that goes... Uh, I heard that voicing and I was like, ooh, that voicing, I don't know, it just has like a really cool quality to it. Um, so then I said, okay, let me try that voice, check out that voicing, and then see if I can move it somewhere else. So maybe I'd go. Or let me try it in another key. So that's when I really, um, you know, find transcriptions useful is I try to pull out specific voicings or specific ideas and then move them through different keys. And that way they really actually become part of my vocabulary as opposed to, um, you know, just playing that one transcription. We got to try to take, it's, you know, it's a language. We want to take those ideas and, and absorb them as a piece of language. I, let's see. Uh, I had two requests that are very similar. I'll see if I can put them together. I wish I knew someone like you could love me. I wish I knew you placed no one above me. Did I mistake this for a real romance? I wish I knew, but only you can answer. If you don't care, why let me hope and pray so Don't you lead me on If I'm a fool, just say so Should I keep dreaming on Or just forget you What shall I do? I wish I knew heart a song to sing and then a kiss but more than this I wish you love and in July a lemonade to cool you in some leafy glade I wish you health and more than wealth I wish you love my aching heart and I agree that you and I could never be so with my best, my very best, I set you free. I wish you shelter from the storm, a cozy fire to keep you warm. But most of all, when snowflakes fall, I wish you love.
When I grow too old to dream I'll have you to remember When I grow too old to dream Your love will live in my heart So kiss me, my sweet And so let us part When I grow too old to dream Your love will live in my heart So kiss me, my sweet, and so let us part. When I grow too old to dream, your love will live. Your love will live, your love will live in my heart. Requests tied together, all in E flat. Uh, I wish I knew. I wish you love. And when I grow too old to dream. Thanks, Charles. Appreciate that, man. Ooh, a bunch of good requests there. All right, let's see. Tough choice.
right, up jumped spring. Um, I can't remember who requested that, but that one's for you. <laughs> um, let's see, Alan asks, do your hands ever get tired? If not, how do you stay so relaxed? So my hands don't really get tired. The only time my hands get tired is if I'm playing in a loud band with a piano that's not mic'd well, and I have to try to pound everything out of the piano, which is never fun. But especially in a situation like this where it's just solo piano, my hands don't really get tired. Um, and part of that is, you know, is technique. And, and, you know, when I teach lessons and I teach people technique, you know, I say when you're practicing a certain passage, you have to try to relax, try to keep your fingers absolutely as relaxed as, as you can. Um, it's, you know, like let's say I was playing, and we, we you know, we kind of want the, we don't want the individual fingers to do the work. We want kind of the elbow and the, and the shoulder to do the work. And your fingers just do the absolute minimum they have to to kind of make, make it to the right key and, and get, get to the right spot. But you'll see if I'm doing a run even like, uh, I'm having as lit, my hand, my wrist is doing, you know, some of the work and, but my fingers are doing very little. And I try to keep my hand as relaxed as possible. And that's actually, ironically, the way to get speed and the way to get control is to try is to actually keep your hand as relaxed as you can possibly keep it, which is hard because you're like, well, I have to press the key, you know, that takes effort. But I don't know if you if you practice and you just really focus on keeping your hand relaxed, do it really slow and keep it relaxed. There's a, you know, a book I love by great pianist Kenny Werner called Effortless Mastery. And he says one of the techniques to try to get that is you, you almost watch your hand as if it belongs to someone else. Um, like you sit there and you just watch while your hand plays whatever passage you're working on. And while you kind of passively sit there and observe. It's a weird kind of uh, Zen mind trick, but it can, it can kind of work sometimes. All right, Wang, you've been very patient, patient for my romance, so we can go ahead and, and play that one. Ooh, and Mood Indigo, that's a nice one too. All right, let's see if I can do both of those together.
I feel like I'm transitioning into something, but I don't know what. <laughs> When Sunny Gets Blue. That one's uh, for you, Lawrence. Well, that just about does it for today. I'm going to play one more tune. Um, but thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Thanks to everyone who dropped a little tip in the tip jar. For those of you looking for it, you can find it in the comments, in the video description, or on my website, benpatterson.com. Um, also, head to benpatterson.com if you want to sign up for my mailing list. You'll get emails about all the online shows that I'm doing. Uh, I do these every Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, co-hosted with Jazz Corner, and then I do my own streams on uh, Saturdays at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. So um, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Thanks for the um, excellent requests. If I didn't get to yours, my apologies. There's just too many to play. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. Seems like we had uh, some folks from Hawaii today, which is great. Jason, that's a good one. <laughs> All right, let's see. I got just time for a little bit. Alone from night to night, you'll find to break the chains that bind me I need no shackles to remind me I'm just a prisoner of love For one command I stand and wait now From one who's master of my fate now I can't escape, it's much too late now I'm just a prisoner of love What's the good of my caring If someone is sharing these arms with me Although she has another I can't have another, for I'm not free. She's in my dreams, awake or sleeping, upon my knees to her I'm creeping. 
My very life is in her keeping I'm just a prisoner of love Woo, That's a pretty one. Haven't done that in a long time. All right. We need a little swinging blues to take us out. Thanks, everybody. Happy Wednesday to you all. Thanks to everyone um, who uh, dropped a little tip in the tip jar. Really, really appreciate it. Um, thanks for all the great requests. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, happy birthday, Pell. And uh, great to spend these Wednesdays making music with you guys. Um, I'm still working. Uh, my, you know, some people around me are getting vaccines. And there's actually a great bass player not too far who's also vaccinated. So once everybody's Cool. I'm, I'll hopefully have a bass player playing with me for one of these uh, sessions as well. So that should be fun coming up soon. Um, all right. Stay healthy. Stay safe, everyone. And uh, hope to see you next time. Take care.